Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. Today, I will be running through what to expect from CIG this week. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for the support. It is truly appreciated. So this Tuesday brought a new Lawmakers Community Questions post, where the narrative team will answer 10 of our questions. I am actually yet to read this, but they are always full of great information to help fill in the gaps within the law. This Wednesday, we will have the latest updates to the roadmap, which I will of course cover in a dedicated video. We are seeing more and more new features coming to 3.18 that are not yet listed, so I do wonder if there will be any new additions to the roadmap or the release viewer. I am actually putting together a video that goes through all of the known features now coming to this new build. A lot of that based on what we are seeing with the Eva Catty, so do keep your eyes out for that one. This Thursday, there will be another Intergalactic Aerospace Expo themed episode of Inside Star Citizen, which says they've got ships galore. Now, we did hear last week that it will be showing off the latest on the internal rework of the Polaris, so that will certainly be one worth waiting for. I also do wonder if we will see anything relating to the RSI Galaxy this week as well. We will have to wait and see. And finally, this Friday, there is no Star Citizen Live due to Thanksgiving. However, we will be still receiving the usual RSI newsletter to our inboxes, and the subscriber vault will be updated. Now, in other news, the IAE continues on. It has been a pretty epic event so far, especially continuing to watch Jax as he travels back from Pyro. Also, we have seen many beautiful Drake ships beautiful in their own right, before you say anything, as well as the new Pisces C8R. Now, the event continues on throughout this week and into next, including the free fly, so I hope you are all having a great time so far, whether you are new or old to the project. Now, in regards to Alpha 318, the Evocati are officially no longer stress testing persistent entity streaming tech and are now actively feature testing like a traditional Evocati patch. Now, I have been covering all the patch notes as they drop, so do check out my other videos to learn more about each of these patches, and I will continue to cover these releases throughout the Evocati phase. So from me this week, as mentioned, I will cover all of the 318 patch rollout, plus be taking a deep look and a ship tour of the Drake Cutter and the Pisces C8R medical ship. I have already taken a look at the Drake Corsair, which I will link below if you are interested, and I will be covering the roadmap update as mentioned before. Also, all being well, I will be streaming Thursday 1 while 5 p.m. and Friday 3 while 7 p.m. all GMT over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. So I hope to see you all there. But that is what to expect from the world of Star Citizen this week. So much is going on right now, and it is a very exciting time to be a part of it, especially with 3.18 on the cusp. This is one of the biggest patches we have had, not in just terms of content, but in terms of the significance of what is coming in. And with it now rolling through the normal testing phases with the Evocati and getting multiple patches throughout the week, because there has just been another one dropped, only a small one with a few bug fixes here and there, but this is a good sign that it is on its way. But with that said, please do consider subscribing and helping the channel to grow. Also hit that thumbs up if you don't mind, does the channel a big favour, and tick that little notification bell if you would like to be notified anytime my videos go live. Again, a huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.